When it comes to choosing a homeschool curriculum, it's important to find one that works well for both you and your child. Keep in mind that there is no perfect curriculum, but you can come pretty close to perfection by selecting a combination that makes sense for both the teaching parent and children. In today's video, we'll talk about choosing the best curriculum for your homeschool, so stay tuned! Hi, I'm Nora from monkeymom.com, a website dedicated to helping homeschoolers with reviews, freebies and tips. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and turning the notifications on so you know when I post new content. This video is part of a full blog post that you can find linked in the description below, where you will also find links to all the products I'll mention in this video. So if you are looking for more information, make sure to check out the description box. Choosing curriculum for our homeschool is something that I take very seriously. I worry that if we rigidly adhere to a set curriculum, we might miss out on those teachable moments that occur outside the scope of a textbook. However, I also know that in order to ensure that my son is receiving a well-rounded education, I need to select a curriculum that will challenge him academically. I strike a balance by prioritizing and planning, but also by leaving room for plenty of spontaneous learning opportunities. Here's a peek into what goes in my mind while choosing curriculum for our homeschooling. Number one, prioritize. Start by deciding what two or three core subjects are most important to you and your child without compromising on your child's education. These primary core subjects should be where you focus the majority of your investment in terms of time and money spent. Consider these questions when choosing your priorities. What are your child's or your long-time goals? What are your state's requirements? What are your child's weaknesses? What are their strengths? What is their passion? What is their favorite subject? And lastly, you should consider if you have any preference for secular, religious or non-religious curriculum. For us, math, language arts and science take the top three spots. I find math and language arts to be the most important subjects because they consist of multiple skills which take years to perfect. Moreover, my son would need these skills for any major exams and to get his high school diploma. We chose science as the third most important subject for us because Mark is STEM oriented. So science is his strength and passion. He is most likely college bound and we prepare for this route because it's hard to change course once you're in high school. His weakness is writing, so I'm always careful when choosing a writing curriculum to make sure it fits him and helps him evolve. And we prefer non-religious homeschool curriculum, so I look for programs that are secular as much as possible. Number two, learning style and parent involvement. It's important to know your child's learning style and how you teach best in order to create a successful learning experience. There are many learning style online tests available, but I recommend taking the test from Bridgeway Academy, our online umbrella school. Knowing your child's learning style will help you choose the right curriculum and teaching methods that will work best for them. Not every learning method will work for every person or for every subject. I noticed one style might not apply to all subjects, so make sure to take that into consideration when choosing your curriculum. Another important question is how involved do you want to be in your child's lesson? It's equally important to consider your needs and what you can do to ensure the curriculum gets delivered to your child in an enjoyable manner. Sometimes you might not become comfortable with the subject and sometimes you might not know how to make the subject interesting or engaging for your kids. That's why you should consider whether you need an online curriculum, self-paced or live, or it's something you can tackle yourself with the help of textbooks and workbooks. I prefer curricula that are straight to the point with no busy work because that's how Mark learns best. And we're slowly transitioning to hands off for the parent for certain important subjects because I feel the concepts are getting harder for me to teach. So we are slowly moving to self-paced online classes and tutors. I feel that balancing online and offline mediums is the way to go for us. So hybrids between online and offline work best for us. Number three, budget, research and try. Budgeting is an important part of choosing a curriculum. By prioritizing your subjects beforehand, you can make sure that the bulk of your budget goes to the two or three homeschool curricula that are most important to 
to you. There are also a lot of free or affordable curricula out there that can be used for the rest of your subjects. And don't forget to look for discounts and compare your favorite curricula to get the best homeschool curriculum deal. In the research and trial phase, I have several steps I'm taking. I do this for each subject separately so it doesn't get overwhelming. Firstly, I browse the internet or Facebook homeschool groups for suggestions. Then I make a list of suggested curricula that seem like a good fit for us and read more about each on forums, watch YouTube reviews and read review articles online. Lastly, I print out any samples, subscribe for trials and just take the whole curriculum for a test drive with my son. I'm in a situation where I need to prioritize where the money goes for the curriculum. We outsourced math and I will outsource science next year. These two subjects are essential for us. Close behind them is writing. So most of our curriculum money will go to cover our priorities. 4. Choose affordable electives. Now that you have the experience of choosing the core subjects, it's time to start thinking about the electives. Just like before, keep thinking about what's important for you and your child and feel free to prioritize again. There are plenty of free or cheap ways to incorporate electives in your homeschool if you're on a tight budget. Some examples of free websites you could use for electives are Khan Academy, Fish Tank, CK12, All-in-One Homeschool, Easy Peasy Curriculum, Code.org. And number five, plan and revise. I've already explained how we plan our homeschool year and you'll find that in the description. But as you go through your homeschool curriculum, keep an eye out for how well it works for you and your child. If there is one thing I've learned from homeschooling for seven years using everything from boxed curriculum to online classes, it's this. Choose a curriculum that fits your child. Don't make your child fit the curriculum. Even if you take the steps above, you may still find yourself in a situation where you need to accept that you may not have made the best choices. Sometimes the chosen curriculum doesn't work as expected or our priorities have changed. I've had my fair share of curricula we didn't use or switched over the years. Homeschooling isn't something rigid. It's a way of life that constantly changes as our children grow and their needs and preferences shift. There are a few things to consider before changing your homeschool curriculum, such as whether or not you've given the current curriculum a fair chance. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, a curriculum just won't work for your family. One of the questions I often hear is when should I switch my homeschool curriculum? If your homeschool curriculum is isn't working for you or your children, don't feel bad about changing it. Sometimes a different curriculum is exactly what you need to help your children succeed. Here are four situations where changing your homeschool curriculum may be the best course of action. 1. You made a genuine effort to make it work but your children hate the curriculum and it has become a daily source of frustration and tears in your homeschool. 2. You feel you have made a bad choice because the curriculum is too hard or too easy for your children. 3. There's no visible growth in terms of your learning objectives over the course of 3 to 6 months. 4. You can't keep up with the curriculum either from lack of time or because it has too many moving pieces. If you need help with choosing a curriculum, I am happy to schedule a free Zoom meeting with you and help you out. Check out my blog for more information. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you for watching till the end. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to help me grow this channel. Until next time, stay curious!